Hello, my name is Cyrus Marcus Ware, and I am going to uh, give you a list of five, my top five pet peeves in no particular order. Number one, the word peeved. It uh, doesn't really make sense. Uh, it's annoying to say, and I don't like it. So that's one of my pet peeves. My number two pet peeve, I would have to say, is when you are driving and you are in the car and you come up and you're right behind somebody who's turning left and you're not turning left and so you would like to go around the car so you're in the lane and you want to make a right signal and go around him go around the person in front of you and so that you can keep going on your journey and you make your right turn signal but then you can't go can you no you can't because the person behind you decides to put their right turn signal on and then now they're merging out into the other lane so that then they can pass as if that's not what you're planning on doing i'm not turning left do you think i want to be sitting here no i don't that is a huge pet peeve of mine um maybe i know i said that these were not in any particular order but I'm going to bump that one up to number one. My number third most annoying pet peeve would have to be... Would have to be... Forgetting things. And I forget what number three was. So that's my pet peeve on that one. Now, because this show is in Seattle, I have prepared some Seattle CanCon. I want to let you know that, you know what? Fuck it. Even if this show wasn't in Seattle, this is absolutely my number four pet peeve. I have a huge, huge problem with the fact that after season seven in Frasier, they reduce all of Daphne Moon's lines to just her saying something sarcastic and then storming out of the room and uh, saying something sort of... Yeah, always something sarcastic and mean and then leaving the room immediately after when she used to have such great storylines and she was very funny and her family was unusual and uh, she uh, had a multidimensional character and they totally got rid of that after she starts dating Niles because of cis white um, heteropatriarchy and um, the system. And uh, yeah, I think that uh, that is absolutely another one of my pet peeves. My fifth pet peeve is when people come to your house um, and to be nice and kind they see that you have dishes. Everybody has dishes. It's just what happens when you make dishes and you eat things and then you have dishes and sometimes you just want to do other things with your fucking life rather than wash your dishes immediately so then when people come over in order to be nice they say can I wash your dishes for you? And you, if you try to protest, and it seems like you're protesting just because you don't want them to wash your dishes, and it leaves no room for you to say that because of things that relate to OCD, you actually can't have somebody washing your dishes for you. People out there in the audience who know, know you know what I'm talking about, and then you and then you lie awake at night and you think about all the food particles that are sitting on your dishes, and that there was no way because of society for you to be able to say no. Please don't do my fucking dishes. I can do my, my own dishes. Obviously, it seems like you can't do your own dishes. That's why because there's dishes in the sink but uh anyways as i mentioned earlier sometimes you just have other stuff to do so my pet peeve is niceness my pet peeve is people being so nice that they want to do your dishes for you and inadvertently set off an ocd chain that results in you having to rewash all of the dishes again the very next day or maybe even the second after the person leaves your house um that is my pet peeve number what number am i at i forget a lot of things hmm. That's up there. Oh, my fifth pet peeve. My fifth pet peeve is the fact that they keep telling us very different things about what we're supposed to be doing with bananas. We're not supposed to keep bananas in the fridge because they turn brown and they get spots and they over ripen. Now we're supposed to keep bananas in the fridge because in fact the hormone that they give off that causes fruit to ripen, uh, you know, you're supposed to like, uh, keep them in the fridge and then something happens I don't fucking know because it's science or sorcery and I don't really understand but I can never keep up with what I'm supposed to do with my bananas and they as a result um just kind of go off and then my last pet peeve and this is really 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 specific so I understand that this may not be relatable to everybody but uh, my last pet peeve are squirrels 
Um, I had a squirrel that was living outside of my house. I named him Kirby and, um, I may or may not have fed him through the screen because he was cute and I appreciated his energy. Um, but then he started coming into my house. Uh, there was a particularly disastrous day where I caught him hopped up on Nutella because he had figured out how to open the Nutella jar with his tiny little paw. And they, he had scraped all of the Nutella all around. And his eyes were like saucers. You know, he was the pupils completely dilated because of the sugar and the, and the caffeine and everything. And I ended up coming in and I was like, oh, my God, Kirby. And then he like leapt off the table and he ran and he scampered all over my bed and my duvet. I had a lot of cleaning to do on that one and disinfecting, I'll tell you what. Anyways, before I could finally get him out of my house. So um, uh, Kirby is my pet peeve and squirrels. Uh, one time I came home and he had brought a friend over. Him and a friend, he had a fucking date. They were at my kitchen table, sitting on the kitchen table, both eating some of my food and looking in each other's eyes lovingly. And although I found that very cute, um, it's still a fucking pet peeve because that's my table. I did appreciate that he felt confident to bring a girl home or, 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 or another squirrel home. I don't know the gender, but I did, I did, I did think that that was a nice sign that we had built up some trust, but still, uh, absolutely on my pet peeve list would be squirrels. So that's my list. Um, I don't remember them, so I can't repeat it back to you. Um, but I hope that um, none of these pet peeves ever plague your life. And um, that's all I have to say. <laughs>